Remote control is a great ability to have with different timers. And most manufacturers offer a remote control that works with their system or their products. There are also universal remotes out on the market. They're a bit expensive, um, but it depends on the type of property that you work on. Generally, if you're working on a lot of smaller residential properties, a remote control isn't that necessary. You're probably going to be just walking back and forth to the timer. But, you know, if you want to take the time to set these up, especially if you have a maintenance contract on that particular property and you know that you're going back a time or two a year, it may be worth taking a few dollars or a few minutes of your time and setting up a remote control on it. Um, but if you're working on larger commercial properties, you're either going to need to have a remote control or a golf cart to drive back and forth to the timers. The remote control is a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier to deal with. What I have here with me is a Hunter version of a remote control. Now this is one of the smaller versions. There are generally two different kinds that you can find. And usually the entry level remote control is good for, I don't know, up to maybe 400 feet. But there are also versions, the more high powered versions, that can go up to a mile and a half of distance. And usually it's a line of sight, you know, you can't be down behind a hill or whatever. Uh, some of the more powerful ones do a better job, but just these basic ones are definitely worth the money. And what you have here with the Hunter is a three piece setup. You've got one particular bit that plugs into the terminals in your timer. We've got a red, white, and blue here, and the instructions that come with it tell you where to put the wires. And then you have a little module here that the transmitter plugs into. And usually these will mount in the conduit or some type of setup that you've got the timer set on so that when you show up to the property, all you have to do is take your little transmitter here and usually these are mounted on a T so that all you have to do is walk up and push this transmitter on it. If you're using some of the universal styles, they'll have a transmitter and a lot of times they'll be set up with alligator clips so that you can carry your specific little transmitter and hook up from timer to timer and hook those up. And usually the setups with the universal style remote controls are going to require that you purchase one of these little uh, adapters for every timer that you work on or you can get one with the alligator clips and every property you can just go in there and hook it to the wires that you need and you're off and running. But on this particular one, you know, we generally have a permanent setup and then you just carry your transmitter from property to property, hook it up, and then you have a handheld unit that once you get out in the field, just a couple of buttons and on and off and an up and down, and that way you can control the operation of the timer. Now on a lot of these, you can't set the parameters of the timer, you can just operate it. So a lot of people, if they're running a maintenance program on somebody, they'll let the, the customer know that they're coming by on a certain date to do the spring startup or the shutdown or whatever it is, and they'll use a, an externally mounted one of these that may come right outside the foundation so that they don't have to engage with the homeowner or all the homeowner really has to do is leave the timer on the run position and then the contractor's at liberty to stop by whenever he needs to and do the tune-up or the repair or whatever it is. But all you'd have to do is just show up, push this on to the mount wherever you've got it. Like I said, some people put them on the foundation of the house or just outside where the timer is mounted if it's inside of a garage or something like that. And then they just show up with the remote control and go through the system. Very good um, and it's well worth the money and if you're doing a lot of maintenance stuff, even on smaller properties, it's worth picking one of these up. They're worth the money. For the stronger models or the universal models, you may want to pick those up if you have a lot of large properties that you're working on, then it becomes cost beneficial to do so.